sometimes big events result from small events. One such small event happened in Vandiyathevan's life. Wasn't Vandiyathevan standing on the roadside watching the entourage of Palliavatere? His horse was standing not far from where he stood. The gaze of the last few of Palliavatere Yar's men fell on the bull. I don't praise this blood, said one. Don't say horse. I say horse, said another. Let your target be researched, first know whether it is a blood or an ass, said another, a fun lover. Don't even look at that. Saying that, one of the men approached the horse. He tried to jump over it. The shrewd horse knew that the rider was not his master. It was ironic that I would not accept that other man. This is a wicked horse. I must not ride it. Only a hereditary royal can ride it. Then the Tanjabur Motherayan should come back and ride it. The other soldiers laughed as he spoke with equality. Because it has been a hundred years since Tanjabur's Mutharayar clan became extinct. Now the tiger flag of the Cholas was flying in Tanjabur. That may be the horse's mind. But if you ask me, I'd say Thandavaraya is alive rather than Tanjabur Mutharaya who is dead. Said another warrior. O oh Lord! See if the horse that refuses to mount you is a real horse. Perhaps it is a fake horse that came to Purumal's feast day. Said another joker. I will check that too, said Thandavarian, who got on the horse and twisted its tail. The angry bull immediately fanned its hind legs four times and ran away. Don't run the donkey. Don't the real donkey. The soldiers shouted, You I. You I. Shouting that, they chased the running horse further. The horse ran through the crowd. People moved here and there frantically to avoid being trampled under its feet. Even so, some of them were kicked and fell. The horse ran wildly. All this happened very quickly in front of Vandiyadeva's eyes. From the look on his face, Al Warkati knew that the horse was his. Did you see, brother? The work done by those Pavoor thugs. It was to show them the bravery you came to show me. He poked and prodded. Vandiyathevan became furious. However, he gritted his teeth and persevered. The soldiers of Pavoor were in large numbers. There is no point in fighting with so many people at once. They didn't even wait to fight him. Laughing at the horse's gallop, they also hurried up. Vandiyathevan went towards the direction the horse had gone. He knew that it would run for a short distance and then stop by itself. So he didn't worry about it. The thought of teaching wisdom to the insolent people of Palliavaterayar was strongly imprinted on his heart. Beyond the tamarind grove, where there was no people, the horse was standing forlornly. When Vandiyathevan went near it, the horse neighed. Why did you leave me and put me in this trouble? said the mouthless creature in its weary tone. Vandiyathevan patted its back to pacify it. Then he took it back and came towards the side of the road. Many people in the festival crowd looked at him and said, Why did you bring this rogue horse into the crowd, brother? How many people has it kicked? They said. What will this child do? What will the horse do? Didn't the rascals of the reaper do this? Both of them said peace to each other. All Alwarkadian was still waiting on the road. Is this Sanyan? It looks like he won't let us go. Vandiyathevan frowned thinking that. Brother. Which way are you going? All Alwarkadian asked. Me? I'll go west a little, then turn south, bend east a little, and then go southwest. Vandiyathevan said. I didn't ask all that. I just asked where you're staying tonight. Why do you ask that? Perhaps you will be staying at the Sambavarier Palace of Kadam Birch, I have a job there. You know magic, what? How did you know I was going to Kadampur Palace? What is the wonder of this? Many guests from many cities are coming there today. Pulvatere and his entourage are going there. Really? Vandiyathevan expressed his astonishment. Indeed. Don't you know that? The elephant, the horse, 
the palanquin, the circle, all belong to the Kadampur Palace. They are going to face the Palyavatarayar. Wherever the Palyavatarayar goes, all this honor must be done to him. Vandiyathevan was deep in silent thought. Staying in a pest shelter itself is not an option that comes easily. A chance to get acquainted with the great player may come. But his experience with his rogue entourage still soured him. Brother. Can you do me a favor? Alwarkadian asked in a compassionate voice. What can I help you with? I'm new around here. I'll tell you what you can. Take me to Kadampur Palace tonight. Why? Are you going to debate and decide whether someone Virasavar is coming there? Is Shiva the great deity? Is Thirumal the great deity? No, no, don't think it's my job to fight. There's a big party tonight at Kadampur Palace. After the party, there's going to be revelry, chatter, and cow calling. I want to see the cow calling. How can I pick you up anyway? Just call me your servant. The suspicion before Vandiyathevan was strengthened. You'll have to look to someone else for that kind of cheating. I don't need a servant like you, and they won't believe me. And after all you've said, I doubt they'll let me into the castle today. Then tell me you are not going to get an invitation to Kadampur. There is a kind of invitation, Sambhavariyar's son Kanamaravel is my best friend. He has called me many times that if I come this way I must come to their palace. That's it? Then your voice will be a little shaky for today. Both were silent for a while. Why are you still following me? Vandiyathevan asked. I can ask the same question back, why do you follow me? Just to get your way. It's because of the crime of not knowing the way. Nambai. Where are you going? To Kadampur. No, you told me you can't take me there. I'm going to the heavenly temple. To Viranarayana Purumal Sunadai. Yes. I also want to come to that temple to serve Purumal. Perhaps I saw that you would not come to the temple of Vishnu. It is a temple to be seen, a shrine to be visited. Here the sages of Ishvara are doing handiwork for Purumal, he is a great saint. I have also heard that there is a crowd. Is there any special festival at the temple? Yes, today is Andal Tyrunakshatra. Andal's Tyrunakshatra is joined with the 18th wave, that is why there is so much commotion. Brother. Have you heard any Andal Pasuram? Never heard. Don't ask. Don't wait for it. Why so much trouble? No malice, no enmity. I said it for your good. If you listen to Andal's sweet song, then you will leave your sword and work behind and like me, you too will fall in love with Kanan and set off on a heavenly pilgrimage. Do you know Andal Pasuram? Do you sing? I know some, I know some of the Namalvar hymns made into Tamil. I am going to sing in the Purimal Sunnati, listen if you want. Here the temple has arrived. By this time they had really come close to Viranarayana Purimal Temple. The first Parantaka Chola, the grandson of Vijayalaya Chola, had the title of Koparaksari of Madurai and Elam. He was the one who laid the foundation of the Chola Empire. He is famous in history for laying a golden roof on Thilakirambalam. Along with many award names like Chola Chikamani, Surasakamani etc., he also had the special name of Viranarayan. During Paranthaka's time, the rash Trakuta kings of the twin regions in the north gained strength. Paranthagan expected that they might invade from Mani Yakadam. Therefore, he made his first son, Prince Rajadathan, to stay in Thirumunapati country with a large army. At a time when lots of soldiers from that army had to be idle, Rajaditha came up with an idea. He intended to do a great work with them that would be useful to the citizens. Called Veda Kaveri by devotees and Kaladam by others, immense flood waters flowed through the river and mixed in vain with the sea. In order to use a part of it, he made a vast lake like the sea with the soldiers at his disposal. He called it Viranarayana Lake after his beloved father. He built a Viranarayana Param on its bank and took a bird from it. 
Vishnu Kriham was tamilized as Vinakaram on that day. Isn't Sariman Narayanamurthy the one who learns in water and is water loving? Therefore, it was a custom of that time to build a temple for Sari Narayanamurthy near the lake shore to guard the lakes. Accordingly, he raised a temple of Viranarayana Purumal at Viranarayanapura Vinakaram. Vandiyathevan and Alvarkadian now went to such a temple of Purumal. When he reached the Sunati, he started chanting Alvarkadian. After singing some of Andal's Pasuras he sang some Pasuras from the Tamil Veda of Namajwar. When he sang like this, tears welled up in Alvarkadian's eyes and streamed down his cheeks. Vandiyathevan listened carefully to the Apadals. Though he did not shed tears, his heart was overflowing. His earlier opinion about Alwarkadian also changed. This is a great devotee. He thought that. Few others listened to the Apasuras as carefully as Vandiyadeva. The temple leaders asked, priest Esvarabhata stood and asked with water in his eyes. Standing near him was his young son, Balagan, who was asking him to marry him. Balakan, the son of Badar who had heard said something to his father. He wiped away his tears and said, Sir, it seems that Gurukurch Seta Gopar, Nam Alwar, has sung a total of a thousand songs. Do you know all that? He asked. I'm not so lucky, I only know a few tens. Alwarkadian said. I want to teach this child as much as I know, said Isuvaramuni. Later, this town is going to achieve many glories. Balakan grew up and listened to Namalvar Pasuras with his face dripping with milk and became the first Acharya in the Vaishnava Acharya lineage with the name Nathamunis. He is going to go to Kurikar town of Alwar and search and collect thousands of scriptures of Nam Alwar who made the Vedas into Tamil. Apasuras are going to be spread all over the country by his disciples singing them with music. The ruler who is going to incarnate as the grandson of Nathamunis is going to perform many miracles. One day Sari Ramanuja, the owner, was going to visit the Kshetra where these two had incarnated. When he comes, he is going to marvel at the Viranarayana lake and its 74 passes. Just as the water of the lake flows through 74 passes to sustain people, it dawns on Amakan to establish 74 Acharya Pedhams to make the flood of Narayana's mercy flow to crores of souls. Accordingly 74 Vaishnava Acharya Purushas with the title of Shimasanat Hapatis will arise. Leaving all these great events to be narrated in detail by the Vaishnava Guru lineage, let us again look at Vandiyadeva. When he came out of the temple after serving Purumal, Vandiyadevan looked at Alwarkadian and said, Believers! I did not know that you are such a great devotee and Pandit Chikamini. I must forgive you if I have spoken in any inappropriate manner. Forgive me, brother. But now will you do me a favor, tell me. Did I just say I can't help you ask for it? Do you agree? That is another matter, I will give you a small ticket. If you stay at the palace of Kadampur you must give it to someone at the right time. To whom? Go to the lady in a closed palanquin behind the elephant of the Parivatarayar. Believers. Who did you think I was? Am I the one caught up in all this kind of work? If anyone but themselves had said such a word to me. Brother. Don't panic. If you can't do it, come as a Maharaja. But if you've done this favor for me alone, it's no harm that you too will need my help at some point, come on. Vandiyadeva then did not stay there even for a moment. Jumping on his horse, he quickly left and headed towards Kadapur.